Yeah, welcome to Access to Perspectives. This is a weekly um, Q&A session where you're most welcome to share your concerns, your um, opportunities, ask anything about your research workflow, anything around open science, research management, fair data, and anything that might still sound obscure to you, or what you, um, if you're unsure about the details as it applies to your very specific research project or as a research manager um, or other stakeholder in academia, how we can best aid you and assist you in supporting researchers and research uh, at large. So Access to Perspectives is primarily um, a community of scholars and entrepreneurs as written here that support each other and are working towards a positive and purposeful impact by disseminating research results. So we're all about openness, um, transparency, open access, as, or, as open as feasible. So um, we're actually more um, more inclined or more driven towards and by fair data as opposed to open data. Of course, openness is also admirable, but there's also limitations for openness that are reasonable and that we're also happy to discuss here. Um, so for anyone who has a problem with open science because you assume, and that's also often said as such, that open science means that you have to put all your cards on the table. Of course, there's work in progress, there's sensitive data. It doesn't mean that everything has to be um, public, but fair is key. Um, so in terms of best research practices, we want to achieve a, a workflow and documentation practice across um, the scholarly community where uh, research results become reproducible and yeah, just to improve research rigor at large and on a global level. Um, so basically the key pillars and categories that we're working in are reading, writing, and publishing. We're also Nicholas Ota who's joined us today, so, um, coming in with his expertise and experience as a trainer. Um, open science with all its components from data management to open methodology, um, electronic lab notebooks, peer review, um, OER, knowledge transfer and communication, public relation with um, other non-academic um, societal stakeholders. Research integrity is obviously um, and sometimes not so obviously intertwined with open science. Um, project management at large, as long as compares res um, as research projects are concerned, and then also career opportunities and career development, including what we're very passionate about and concerned with is also working in a multilingual um, global research community and how that can um, be fostered and um, facilitated. So here are some of the people that I myself and we as a, an agency, so to say, as Access to Perspectives um, are working with. Um, you see also Nicholas Uta in this um, slide, yeah, all the way in the in the second row to the to the right. And yeah, as mentioned, these are all um, professionals and researchers and entrepreneurs whom we are closely and project-based work, working together with to be of best possible service to anything research related. Um, we deliver our services as consultations or mentoring with, through workshops and trainings, speeches, talks, and seminars, all of which you can, um, or you can also see some of our accomplishments and um, previous courses on our website. We work on projects, as mentioned before, for example, multilingualism in research and academia, and then also other projects, um, in particular, Africa Archive, where I'm also very glad to be able to work together with um, Nicholas Ota um, and our team. We develop, um, or we work particularly also with a focus on digital tools to facilitate open research practices. Um, we look into indigenous, indigenous knowledge and how that complements potentially and also now endorsed by the UNESCO Open Science recommendations, how indigenous knowledge can complement and inform research, um, scholarly research. 
and scholarly knowledge. Of course, we have also been engaged in the COVID-19 response. We consulted with animal welfare in a research context. And um, again, global research equity is basically driving us to working towards and um, informing researchers to how they can best um, enable global research equity. Um, these are some of our clients um, can, yeah, and we're very much looking forward to work, continue working with these and also others in the future. We also have a podcast. Um, so far, I've been the main podcast host. And as you can see, this is just a selection of the already released episodes. And the conversations are, again, with professionals and experts inside, for the most part, academia, and some of them outside, but serving also academics. Um, and topics rotate around open science, career development, um, also a strong represented, strongly represented topic is um, well-being and in particular mental well-being because it's come to not our, our, our attention but there have been a few reports that especially in academia the work pressure is quite high and here we want to inform about how to maintain mental well-being um, despite mm -hmm. the pressure points and also my personal belief and um, like I'm I'm convinced in part also by my personal experience that open science and embracing open science practices can um, mitigate and also prevent mental issues from arising. So, um, yeah, so yeah, feel free to listen in one or the other episode. And if you want to share your own story, of course, you're most welcome to also approach us and um, then we can talk about the topic that you want to share about. Um, you can reach me in particular and also our team members through um, our calendar um, on our website. Um, you find on various pages um, this uh, calendar scheme where you can book a slot to, to get in touch and talk about how we can best support you.